So in this film, we're looking at replacing skies in the likes of Photoshop uh, image. So let's uh, kind of uh, just see what's involved. So we're going to be kind of using the edit and then re sky replacement uh, command here. Uh, before we do that, though, let's uh, just uh, show you from uh, the kind of the beginning. So if we go to the F12, that resets the image as I imported it in. So it just takes a couple of seconds to do that. So we can see pretty much we've got a, a kind of a flattish day on a beach, uh, sub subject running along the edge of the beach with obviously the balloons and things, uh, a great little dancer called Olivia, first time I'd photographed with her. Um, and basically, you know, the sky is pretty bland and pretty uninteresting with it. So in good practice, you know what I do, control J to begin with. So we duplicate that layer. And at this point, let's go just straight in and uh, go into the edit and the sky replacement. So by doing that, uh, we're going to have options here to kind of uh, choose the different skies. Uh, depends on what you want. And then you can obviously kind of work through them uh, to your heart's content. I, I chose this cloudy uh, sky that is here in the last time. So it remembers your last choice, yes? Uh, but you can kind of go through and uh, choose what is most relevant to the, the photograph that you're going to work with. In the same way, we can basically fade and edge the transition. I'm not worried about the girl yet. We'll subtract her out and we'll subtract the balloons. Um, but we can also move the temperature a little bit. So I would say we need to warm this up to match in with the rest of the girl. So the sand color is a bit warmer than the skies and so on with it. And we don't want to look like end of world is going to about to happen as such, really. Yeah. Um, so we just move that and you have the option here as well to actually scale up the sky to make it just that little bit bigger if that's what you wish to do. If you make it too small, of course, it's not going to hit the edges of your photograph. So you need to uh, allow Photoshop to do its little thing and just enlarge it up enough to actually fill the frame as it were. You've got several options here of how you want to kind of output. Uh, I usually choose the new layer uh, and that's going to obviously kind of put it on top for us. So as you can see now, uh, if we uh, kind of look over onto the layers palette here, it's created a group. I just collapsed it so you could see it. It's created a group of uh, multiple things going on in here. So it's the sky temperature. It's got the sky itself, the edge uh, lighting on the group and things as well. And if you start to kind of switch these things off, you'll start to see how it adjusts. So you've got some control. Uh, in the overall effect as well. Right, let's just go back to the uh, girl and we're going to select her. So we're just going to come up into the selection tool, uh, in this case the object selection tool, but we're going to select at the top here to select subject. That's quickly going to select her. And then all I'm going to do is just put Control J and we've now got a copy uh, just of the girl and we're going to move her above the actual sky replacement um, group there. Okay, so now we've got her as you can see on top. Let's do the similar thing with the balloons. Uh, in this case, back into layer one. And we're just going to go into the object selection, which we're already on. But now as I hover across the different elements, you'll see it makes the selection. So in this case, it's already selected the balloon, so I'm going to click onto that. And that's made the selection for me. At this point, Control J, that remain makes a, uh, a new layer based on the selection. And you can see already how it's beginning to work. Um, if you felt that it was a little bit too light for the scene and so on, all, all we need to do is just basically change the opacity down a little bit to allow the blend. So the great way um, of kind of using it in this mode is that we're allowing ourselves to basically blend um, more and more um, by kind of duplicating the areas of the photograph that we want. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much done its job. And uh, because in the same way, if we kind of look at the girl on top, you can see, well, what do we want to actually make use of? I, I think predominantly is it the face as well, or is it just the body? Is it the legs and so on with? Uh, it, it's really just down to the face and the, tor the torso is our main concern. Let's just quickly hit a mask at the bottom, B for brush, D for default, 
and then X to put black on top. And let's see what happens when we start to actually paint away her feet, which is a lot better now, I think. And just start to actually blend up the dress as we go here. Let's press X again to just bring a little bit of that highlight back down. And so in a matter of a couple of minutes, we've been able to create ourselves a complete change of the actual um, sky. Uh, remembering with the sky, of course, if you want to just knock it back a little bit, you just uh, click onto the uh, whole of the group and then just change the opacity down. And then you can just start to take a little bit more of the contrast away, showing up some of the information in the background, like you can just see the, the ship through the little bit of the kind of the misty element and so on with it. And that's how we use the Photoshop uh, replacement sky.